No. No. <gasps> what the? I'm really hoping and praying that it is because I need a five star, you guys. I really do. Hello my wonderful friends, welcome to my channel if you are new. We are going to do a reading vlog here. Excuse my appearance, I know I am not all done up for you guys. I am going to head to the gym and since it is a reading vlog, I thought that I would give you guys a little bit more snippets of my personal life just to spice things up a little bit and see how it goes from there. So today my plans are to continue reading Lady of Ashes by Melissa K. Rowe and I am going to go to the bookstore later today a few books that I have in mind it is Labor Day weekend and Barnes & Noble is doing their two time stamps for anyone with a Barnes & Noble membership and a three time stamp for anyone that is a premium membership which is what I am obviously and yeah I am just really excited I'm gonna go and buy a few books and pick myself up a little bit I did have a pretty rough month in August I actually missed a week where I did not post a video just mental health wise and personal life wise some things have happened so I'm just trying to get out of that funk right now and just get back to reading and get back to vlogging and spending time with you guys I've really missed doing my reading vlogs I'm really hoping that September brings me more joy and usually I love fall season and I am all about pumpkin spice lattes, fall leaves and all that good stuff so yeah now I am gonna go to the gym and I will check in with you guys later hello friends let's get ready to go to the bookstore so I went to the gym <laughs> and it did not go as planned and when I went to sign up for this gym there was nobody there. My daughter, she had gone inside because she's a member of this gym and she was working out or whatever and I had like gone back and forth to sign up because no one was there and I was trying to do it online but I left my debit card inside the car or whatever and it was just like this whole stupid thing and I had to go back and forth and their app wasn't working and it just wasn't fun. And by the end of it, I was just like, fuck it today's not my day i'm just not going to do it the universe is telling me that i don't need to work out today so we are just not going to fucking work out today i will just probably go tomorrow morning when it's not so busy because when we went there was also like a lot of people there and i just get a lot of anxiety especially in the gym if i'm like going to work out and there's a bunch of people there and i have to like wait on machines or fight for machines or whatever so we, we're just not gonna do that today so what I am going to do right now is just get ready and we're gonna go to the bookstore and we're gonna see if the books that I am hoping is there are available I did check online and they are available at the one at the Barnes and Nobles that's closest to me so we'll see my makeup routine is like super super simple so it shouldn't take me too long and I just figured that we could talk about Lady of Ashes by Melissa Rorick. I am on the third book right now and I don't know how I feel about it. Like the first two were super fast paced, left me on cliffhangers. So I like started the next one and I don't know, like I've just had like a grand old time throughout the series. And yes, I'm putting it on my cheeks. This is concealer by Benefit. Um, I have really bad acne scars as you guys can see and this is like the only thing that covers it without like making me look all cakey. I hate cakey looking makeup so that's what we're doing. Um, anyways, I digress from my makeup routine. This third book is, I don't even know what to say about it. Like Scarlett, the main FMC, she is like getting on my nerves. She's doing things that are super immature and I don't know like if she's supposed to be like Aelin or something and it's just coming off as like super annoying and I don't know like I just I don't like her right now and I am more for Soren our MMC. He is a really good guy or male 
they are trying to like figure out how to get these keys i don't want to like spoil you guys too much because this is like the third book in the series so i'm going to be kind of vague but they're trying to get these keys and these keys are supposed to open a passageway let's say for them to go to a certain place and this has something to do with charlotte's heritage and it's supposed to like change things immensely we have charlotte and we have Talwin. Talwin is like the fake queen. And there's a lot of animosity between Talwin and Charlotte. Like Charlotte doesn't really give two shits about Talwin. She's just like trying to be respectful of her. So she's just trying to be respectful and do her thing, save as many people as she can. She has some really badass powers. And since book one, we've seen a lot of growth in Charlotte as far as her powers and she was essentially always alone and trying to take care of her missions or whatever if you will she had a few people looking out for her the bad guys let's say is an assassin lord sort of like what we have in throne of glass the assassin lords are basically like the same so if you read throne of glass then maybe this is sort of like a spoiler for you but i won't go too much into it they're just totally badass women that are trying to understand their heritage their bloodline just trying to let love in but still protect people from evil and i love a good story where we have fmcs that are trying to do good and trying to protect the helpless and what I like about this book so far is that we have sort of like a mate situation happening, but they're called Twin Flames. Sort of like Akatar, they get like tattoos and stuff when the mates are recognized, I guess, but they also have to go through like these trials in order to like basically prove themselves to gods or fates. And Soren and Charlotte, they haven't really gone through much of this, but from what Charlotte had gone through throughout the beginning of this book i feel like they should have met one of the needs for the trials so we're like trying to figure out what is happening with their relationship scarlet really fucked up towards the beginning of this book and hurt soren his entire court she thinks she like knows it all and she has to do everything on her own instead of helping she like cause more harm in a way even though she did learn some useful information so that was good but at the end of the day she like hurt the people that were trying to protect her i don't know how to really feel about it like the way i'm explaining it to you guys is probably super shitty because that's all i'm like getting from this so far like there's a lot of smut scenes that i'm just like skimming through because i don't really care for it and it's like happening in like every other chapter i want more plot i like the first two books so much more than this and i feel like this is just like letting me down right now so i'm a little bit disappointed it might also be just because i'm like in a weird funky mood that could be definitely playing an effect in this but i know we're not going to get all the answers that i want to right now because this is a five book series but i feel like this series is pretty slow compared to like the first one and the second one i guess but at the same time i guess the author was trying to make this like super intense and fast paced or whatever in the beginning of this book and it was but I don't know, I just felt like I got more anxiety throughout it. Like I said, it could just be because of the mood that I'm in and stuff. So I don't know. Maybe I need to like read something else because I read the second book and then I jumped right into the third book. Whenever I jump from one book to the other in the same series, I kind of get like a little slumpy. So I don't know if that's what's happening right now. Hold on. I gotta look really close in the mirror to do my eyebrows because I can't see for shit. I don't have my glasses on and I don't have contacts. So hold on one second okay so my eyebrows are done i'm just gonna brush them real quick let's just look in here and do it i'm going to continue reading this series but i think what i'm going to do after i finish this book is maybe start something else i kind of want to like start icebreaker or maybe i'll start something like a cozy fantasy or maybe i'll just do like a rom-com like maybe a cozy fallish rom-com because end of august guys it means that we are already in the fall so maybe i'll do something like that because i just i'm just feeling the fall vibes and i really just want to be 
immersed in it. I want to read cozy fantasies. I want to read some fun thrillers. I switched out my blushes. This is like a brown compared to like the pink that I do during the summer and I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like this is darker than this one. But I feel like this side is getting more lighting. <laughs> I hate being blind, oh my goodness. I think that's it for my makeup. I'm just going to put on some like lip gloss or something and brush my hair out. I got this fancy lip gloss, lip oil lip gloss. What is this? Gloss bomb, so it's gloss. I really like this little this is like my first Fenty lip gloss and I really like it. It like makes my lips super shiny. I don't know. I like the way it looks. And all I'm going to do with my hair is just like brush it out because I washed it yesterday and it's like... It's like smooth and straight and I don't want to do anything to it. I have like straight but like some parts wavy hair. I might just have to put in some frizz control because it's like humid as hell outside. I don't know if anyone still uses this. It works for my hair and it doesn't like make it super greasy or anything so works out. It smells so good. I love things that smell good. I feel pretty. <laughs> Let's go to the bookstore. Hello friends! I did get the two books that I wanted to get and I didn't get anything extra so I'm very proud of myself so I treated myself to a pumpkin spice latte. I had to get it hot because I love hot drinks and it is hot outside but at the same time I'm like in air conditioning all the time. You guys probably hear my air conditioning for my car right now so I'm sorry if that's annoying but we're gonna make this really quick. I just want to show you guys the two books that I got. <laughs> okay, so the first one is Daydream by Hannah Grace. And then the second one is Marriage and Musty by Nisha Sharma. And I had already read this book. I got the arc for it and I absolutely loved it. This is the final book in the Shake If Shakespeare Was an Auntie series. And I'm just so sad that this series is completed and I'm just so sad that this series is completed. I really, really love this entire series and I will definitely be rereading this and I might even like annotate these when I do like a reread, but they're just so much fun and they always put me in a good mood. So yeah, I just had to get this for my shelves and look, look at the cover. I love their outfit. They look so good together. Deepak and Vera are relationship goals. And yeah, and Daydream. This cover is also beautiful. 
I got two purple covers. I don't know what that says. I'm really happy with my purchases. I wanted to browse around and like see if I could get like another thriller or something, but it's so packed, you guys. Look, I just want to get my ass home and like read and just be by myself around my kids and my dogs. And yeah, it's just really, really crowded. And I don't know what's wrong with me today. Like, I'm just, my anxiety is like through the roof and I don't want to bother with anybody. Like, I just don't want to be in a crowd. I'm a germaphobe girly, so I always have hand sanitizer everywhere. After I like leave any store or anything, I always have to have hand sanitizer. I'm going to go home and I will continue reading Lady of Ashes by Melissa Brorick. I'm at like 70% of the book, so I only have like a few hours left. So I want to finish it today and maybe start like a romance or something. I don't know like maybe something like short and sweet just to kind of like make me feel better I guess I don't really want to read anything like dark romance anything depressing or like any kind of thriller right now I think I think I want to do a romance and I'm gonna think on this I don't know what I want to do maybe I'll like start icebreaker because I bought daydream and yeah maybe I'll do that but I have a bunch of other unread romances that's on my bookshelves and on my fall TBR so I don't know we will see when we get home You know when the book is like kind of boring so you're reading it to finish it and then some crazy shit happens and it just makes you want to keep reading and finishing the book like literally a little over a hundred pages left in this book and things are just like going crazy and it's getting really good i am on chapter 44 on page 56 556 and Scarlett, she hasn't celebrated her birthday in years because her mom had passed and she made it really special for Scarlett and she just hasn't celebrated it. She's had a lot of trauma throughout her life. She loves to play the piano. She absolutely gets completely lost in playing the piano and just goes into another dimension basically and all of her emotions pours out beautifully when she plays it. Soren found out that it was her birthday and knows that she doesn't want to celebrate it. And what does he do? He buys her a piano or I guess cleans it up for her. I guess they already had it. And they have like these beautiful candles laid out, a little plushy couch. And he just like made it super cozy and made that room for her. And I am just gushing over it because it's just it's just so cute for someone to do something like that and it is super meaningful as well because now she has an outlet where she can go and let out her emotions without holding it in. As we know, our girl has some issues to work out. I just think that this is like the sweetest thing ever and I'm just gushing over it and I thought I should just let you guys know. But I'm gonna get back to reading now. <laughs>
So I finished Lady of Ashes. It's almost 11 o'clock at night and I don't know how to like put this into words. I can't give you guys a rating right now because I'm still processing so much has happened from the time where I was telling you guys that I was like kind of floating through the book and nothing much was happening and I wasn't really a fan of how Scarlet was behaving and stuff but like now how did we get here these books the way they end they make you want to start the next one and right now <laughs> I just feel traumatized and I'm definitely not going to be starting the next one. I need some kind of a palette cleanser or something. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with myself. <sighs> I love Soren so much. And... He's like the ultimate book boyfriend. I love him so much and he is so good for Scarlet. Scarlet is a total badass but if I had to pick a favorite between the two of them Soren would definitely be my favorite. He is like the level-headed one and all that and Scarlet is super powerful but like I just like Soren as a person a lot better. Scarlet is a total badass and she reminds me of Aelin from Throne of Glass and she reminds me of how Aelin would plan things out without telling the crew and just go off on her own and execute the plans and same I, I guess Bryce was the same way from Crescent City. There is a lot of similarities in those kinds of personalities and it's interesting how Scarlet has been executing her plan how we're getting these little nuggets of surprises when shit is hitting the fan so that's been interesting and that's been keeping my interest in the story i want to tell you guys what happened in this but at the same time i can't spoil you because this is a spoiler free video oh my god but i need someone to talk to about this <laughs> if you read this series like please message me so we can talk about it because i'm so pissed off right now but at the same time, I'm like so excited to start the next one. But at the same time, I'm like, I need some time to process this. So much has happened and I just need some freaking time. And I'm just like, this is insane. This is insane. I'm liking it so far, obviously. Like I'm probably, I don't even know. I don't even know what rating I'm gonna give it. I'm just, <sighs> I need some time. I don't really know what book to pick up in this vlog next because I'm just like <laughs> stuck. Mood reading wise, I don't know what I wanna pick up, but I feel like decisions kind of been made for me because there are some books on my fall TBR that I am looking forward to starting and I do have a few on my Libby that I may start. So I have The Familiar by Leigh Bordugo that's expiring in three days and I have like three Frida McFadden books, The Coworker, Never Lie and The Devil Wears Scrubs. I kind of want to pick up a Frida, but at the same time, I feel like I should read The Familiar or listen to it because I have the audiobook on Libby and it's such a beautiful copy. Like I have it right here and it's so beautiful. I love the black edges and 
like it just gives me like fall creepy vibes but at the same time i'm like do i just want to wait to read it until like october so it like gives me the total creep factor feelings but at the same time i just want something a little different do i want something like cutesy romance kind of book i also want something fast paced so I feel like thrillers the way to go because thrillers are like super fast paced and I can finish a thriller in like a few hours. So maybe that's the route I should take. Why is this so hard? Let's look at my TBR cart real quick. Let's see if we can pick out a book. Okay, so here's my TBR cart and I have... I don't want to read this. What else is here? Um, none of these are like fall romances and I want like a fall romance, something cutesy. I don't really want to read like a fantasy or like a romanticy right now because that's what I've been reading. Oh, wait, we have... We have this one here, A Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Montana. And I've heard really good things about this book. And it's like a witchy rom-com. I definitely need to buy more witchy romance books. I need some more rom-coms, I think, for the fall. I think I'm going to start this one. I need a break from fan row, but this is like warm and fuzzy kind of feelings that i'm looking for right now yeah i'm not even gonna read the back <laughs> i'm just gonna go and start this probably tomorrow maybe i don't know maybe i'll listen to the familiar in between like work and stuff and i will like physically read this because it's just so cute and like it's flop oh i guess it's not really floppy it's kind of floppy <laughs> but yeah Okay, I think that's the move. So I'm going to listen to The Familiar and I'm going to read this physically. I will catch up with you guys tomorrow and give you a reading update on where I am with my reading progress, I guess. Alright, I will catch you guys later. I want to give you guys a really quick update on The Familiar. I have it right here. I almost hit myself in the face, but I have it right here. Sorry about the lighting. I'm in my car and I was trying to record when I was at home, but my neighbor wanted to like mow their lawn and it was like vibrating my house, so I couldn't record. But I want to give you guys an update because I'm bored out of my mind with this book. I don't know like if it's me or if it's the book, but it's not like clicking all i know is that it's about lucia and valentina and we get both of their povs and lucia has some kind of a power that valentina wants to like show off to her friends or whatever lucia is a scullery maid and she wants to keep her heritage and her powers a secret for whatever reason and that's kind of it and like right now i'm on chapter 15 and lucia is trying to get out of being a scullery maid she is trying to i guess be more which you know go girl but at the end of the day it's just like not holding my interest and i just don't know what to do so I'm honestly thinking about DNFing it. I'm going to give this five more chap- Oops, someone's walking behind me. <laughs> I think I'm going to give this like five more chapters maybe maybe eat maybe not I don't know I don't know I'm gonna see I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna listen to it some more but I'm really thinking about DNFing it because I'm so bored I'm so bored and this is like the worst time ever to be forcing myself to like read a book and I know we shouldn't be doing that anyways but like I really wanted to like this book so badly it has all the vibes that I need for autumn but it is what it is I I'm at the gym right now which is why I'm like this so I'm gonna go work out and I will give you guys an update sometime tonight remember when I said that I was going to try to listen to the familiar by Leigh Bordugo on audio and how I told you guys yesterday that I was bored out of my mind well I haven't picked it up since. I'm just not interested 
and reading this right now. So I think I'm just going to put this down and maybe I'll feel like picking it up at a later time, but I'm just not vibing with it. I'm not feeling it. So maybe I need to like read this physically, but I like after listening to the audio, I have like zero interest. So we are going to put her down and I have a reading update for you. Remember how I said that I was going to read The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches physically? I didn't do that either. But what I did do, <laughs> I started reading Never Lie on my Kindle by Frida McFadden. And oh my goodness, this is bringing me back to life. I've gotten to like the 30% mark and it's very interesting so far. This newlywed couple has gone in to a house. They're looking to take a look around this house because they're looking to buy it. And their real estate agent was supposed to meet them. There's like a big snowstorm that they drove through to get there. They drove from like Manhattan to this area and it's like two hours away from their home. And when they get near the home, their car gets stuck. So they walk the rest of the way. The couple notices how there's like a light on. So they're like, okay, Judy, the real estate agent might be there. Maybe she's waiting for us. But then the wife is, I think her name is Trisha. And she's like, that's a little weird because why would she only have one room in the house on, on the second floor? And all of the lights are off throughout the entire house. It's just a little weird and it's a kind of creepy. So she like, is getting these weird vibes off of the house but then the husband Ethan is like oh yeah I can't wait to take a look at this house it's a big house I can't wait to live in it they go inside it's magnificent it is fully furnished there's leather couches there's bookcases all over and there's a picture of the previous homeowner on top of the fireplace Trisha is like, okay, I feel like she's watching me. This is kind of creepy. And then Ethan is kind of weird about the picture. So I don't know what's going on there. It's just like super eerie vibes. And like Trisha's like noticing weird things. Like apparently the woman who had lived in this house before was somebody that was a therapist and or maybe a psychologist. I have to reread that. I was pretty tired last night when I was reading it. It's kind of mysterious and they're just in this creepy house. So that's kind of where I'm at right now and I'm really enjoying it so far. I will give you guys more updates as I continue to read it. I don't have the physical copy. I feel like like a hit or miss for thrillers with me so I don't even bother buying them anymore because I feel like it's like a waste of my money because 90% of the times I end up just selling them on my pango or something because there aren't many that hold my attention. The only thriller that I had actually loved was by Geneva Rose and that was The Perfect Marriage and I think The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. Hopefully I really love this. I looked at the Goodreads reviews and they all look good. I avoided spoilers because anytime I go to read like a thriller I'll check the reviews because if it doesn't look good I usually don't like it but then there's also been cases where the reviews are great and the ratings are great but I still don't like it. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So I'm going to continue reading. I have work and stuff to do. So throughout work, I will take breaks and read it as I can. I will give you guys an update as soon as I have an update for you. Hello, friends. So guess what? I finished Never Lie and it was five stars. I did not see it coming. Like the ending, the way things happened. I did not see it coming, but I had a really good time reading it and I finished it in less than 24 hours. I don't even know how I read it this fast, but it was really good. The twists and turns, phenomenal. Frida McFadden did it again. <laughs> I think I am going to stick to the Frida train and I'm going to read another Frida McFadden book. So the next one I was thinking about reading is The Devil Wears Scrubs and I don't know anything about it but the title looks cool and I'm hoping for like a badass murdery female character. I don't know but I think it might be fun. Yeah so I don't know anything about it. I didn't even read like the summary of it or anything like that. I'm gonna go into it blind because I feel like 
thrillers are more fun that way and I'm like having the best time ever right now. I felt so down when I started this vlog but slowly as you can see my smile is just beaming. <laughs> okay so I don't have much of an update besides for that but like loved Never Lie and I'm gonna be thinking about it. I'm going to be thinking about it and I really hope that reading another Frida McFadden book if this one's worse or you know like I hope I don't like compare them so I'm hoping that this one is just as good if not more I don't know but I'm super excited <laughs> I will give you guys an update when I have an update for you I am tired <laughs> This is what a full-time employee and quarter-time student looks like. I have had a jam-packed day from literally like 8.30 a.m. until now and it's what? What time is it right now? It's 9 o'clock at night. <sighs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm done complaining about my life though. So reading updates. I am still reading The Devil Wears Scrubs on my Kindle. I don't know what to say about this book. It's very repetitive as far as what our FMC is going through. What is her name? I don't even remember her name because I'm just like, oh, her name is Jane. So Jane is a, like her supervisor is super evil apparently. And like the way she treats Jane is just like super mean girlish. My phone is going off. Why are you going off? And it's just like super mean girlish how Alyssa is treating her. Alyssa is her like senior resident or boss or whatever. The attending, he's like this much older man who says, oh my a lot. I don't know. You guys, I'm getting like Grey's Anatomy vibes from this, but like mean girl wise, I don't know. Like the devil wear scrubs, that's supposed to be Alyssa or something. I'm not enjoying it as much as I enjoyed Never Lie. Like this one is kind of flopping for me, but I am like almost 70% of the way through. So I think I'm going to just finish it. And if I don't like it, then I'll just, I just don't like it. But I wanna know why Alyssa is so evil to Jane. It just doesn't make any sense. We do have a little bit of romance with a sexy surgeon and I just want to see what happens with her and Ryan. Ryan is the sexy surgeon and he's also like super mean to his attendees. He's also super mean to his interns. I don't know how things are going to go with them either but I want to see how things turn out for these two. The romance is also like a little suspenseful and it's I don't know it's nothing like epic romance or anything like that but when I can get a little bit of romance, I'll hold on to it and just see what happens. Almost 70% of the way through, enjoying it. I will read some more before I go to bed tonight. I don't know if I'm going to finish it or not. It is kind of a quick read also, so I might, but at the same time, I'm also kind of bored with this and I'm so exhausted, y'all. So I'm probably like gonna go to sleep early. I will give you guys an update tomorrow morning and we will talk about this. Um, the next book that I, I'm already thinking about the next book that I want to pick up in this vlog. I'm thinking I want to do like a sports romance, but I don't have a lot of those. I only have one and that's Mile High by Liz Tomford. So I might just read that or I might read something on my Kindle. I don't know. I've been like in my Kindle era lately, if you guys can't tell, like I've literally been reading all my books on this. So, and also Mile High is on Kindle Unlimited, so I might just read it on my Kindle even though I have the physical copy but I will check in with you guys tomorrow. So I finished The Devil Wears Scrubs by Frida McFadden and it was a thorough disappointment. It was literally Grey's Anatomy and it was, I don't even remember the main girl's name right now, Trisha or something? No, that's not right. I don't remember her name. The FMC was not my favorite character it was literally about her going through the motions of being an intern and listening to her senior resident learning the ropes of what to do in the hospital working finding love and that was 
it really there was no suspense there was nothing crazy it was literally an episode out of Grey's Anatomy yeah I had given this like a three star when I finished this the day before yesterday and now I'm thinking it's more like a one star just because I finished it I am like still thinking about it and I'm so disappointed with the whole plot of it I love Frida McFadden like I she's one of my favorite thriller authors but this book just disappointed me so much so moving on i moved on to a book that i figured would really make me feel better i've been craving a good sports romance especially because it's like the holidays if someone was to write a sports romance about like a player from the eagles I would be so happy they're like my favorite football team or even from Phillies like I'd be so happy I love football and baseball so those are like my go-to however the only sports romance book that I had was Mile High and I've heard really good things about it and the cover is just so beautiful and yeah so i started this book yesterday and i haven't gotten too far into it i'm literally on chapter nine right now and it's a really fun read i really like xander he's a total playboy hockey player but he also has like a sweet side to him and we have stevie i love the fact that she isn't like our typical thin-bodied female she's a little bit thicker and she likes to eat and I love that because it's like become normalized to like be your thinnest self to eat salads and just what whatever and I just love the fact that she eats what she loves she fluctuates in weight and relatable and I just feel like there's so many things about her that I have been able to relate to so that's been really nice and Xander and Stevie's relationship show so far it was like sort of like I hate to like relationships so far like Stevie is a flight attendant for Xander's team's airplane going from state to state playing games Stevie doesn't hold her tongue when it comes to Xander he loves that at first he was taken aback but now he loves it and we just see them go at it and it's just so much fun I'm just having such a good time I can't wait to continue on with this book and see how I feel I really really hope that this is a five star I am like really hoping and praying that it is because I need a five star you guys I really do let's see how this goes I will update you guys when I have more of an update for you okay so I finished Mile High and you guys, this book is I think one of my all time favorite romance. Like Xander's and Stevie has my whole heart. The mental health representation that was in this book and growth in this book, the amount that Stevie had gone through and Xander's as well. I feel like so many things were portrayed so well in this book. I am a fan. I am a Liz Tomford stan and I feel like I want to read more hockey romances or sports romances. If you guys know any other books that gives you these feelings, I need to know because I need this in my life, please. So a little bit of background about what this book is about. I know I told you guys a little bit in the other clip, but I want to give you guys a little bit more. So we have a hockey player and we have a flight attendant. They hate each other at first, but they come to become friends and enjoy each other's company and it grows into something more and it is so spicy. It is so heartwarming and it is such a healthy relationship. They have their ups and downs and Xander has a lot of things from his past that he is working through. Stevie has a lot of things that she is working through. The way the universe is putting them together is perfect. Honestly, I feel like this is like a real life story. Like we see stuff like this happening in real life. I know that I read a lot of fantasies. So whenever I read like a romance and I'm like, oh, 
this is actually something that can happen in real life it just makes me super giddy and like it just gives me so much hope for love in general and that's basically the feeling that i got from this book i rated it five stars i cannot wait to read the rest of the books in the windy city series by liz tomford if you guys have not picked this up run don't walk go get this go read it it is free on kindle unlimited so if you have kindle unlimited there's no reason why you shouldn't be adding this to your tbr and reading it it is absolute perfection so we are going to end the vlog here so i'm gonna do a recap of the other two books that i had also read as you know mile high has been the roman empire of this vlog so we're just gonna leave it at that because i feel like i can talk about this book forever and just thinking about xanders and stevie just makes me miss them and i have contemplated starting to reread this book already but i'm stopping myself because i really need to get through the rest of my tbr <laughs> but we're i'm gonna digress from that tangent the first book that i read in this vlog is never lie by frida mcfadden and it has been such a long time since i read a thriller book that gripped me that i enjoyed from the beginning to the end and that left me guessing and i was not disappointed by the ending a lot of the thrillers that i've been reading recently have thoroughly disappointed me silent patient and the house across the lake i was severely disappointed by those two and i had really high hopes for them however i am really glad that i picked up never lie by frida mcfadden it was eerie it was dark it was twisty it was absolute perfection to begin the fall season and i absolutely love her writing she did not let me down i'm really glad i picked it up i gave it a five stars because like i said from start to finish it was perfection trisha and ethan they are a newlywed couple they're looking for a house on a stormy day they end up going to see a house that they're supposed to be purchasing and it is super eerie and it is dusty it is fully furnished because the previous owner who is a doctor supposedly disappeared and they're going to see that house they don't know this at this point in time but when they go in it is super scary and then they see signs of someone else staying there and trisha is freaking out because she is like someone's in here and ethan's like no they're not you're crazy well he didn't use it in those words but basically that was the gist that i was getting and trisha was just trying to ease her mind and just kind of brush it off they had gotten stranded there basically the snowstorm was so bad that they couldn't get back on the road their car was completely covered in snow and there's just so many creepy things that happen and it like really sets the scene it was just absolute perfection like i keep saying i don't know how else to say it but it was everything that i was looking for in the thriller and i absolutely ate it up so yes that got a five star from me and then i read the devil wears scrubs by frida mcfadden and i was on like a frida mcfadden high so i thought that this would also be good but it wasn't i was so disappointed and i was so bored throughout the entire book i don't know why i didn't dnf it no i do i didn't dnf it because i just was hoping that some crazy thing was going to happen towards the end that i was going to be like oh that tracks no no this was super boring and it was just like about some girl's life going through med school and yeah super boring it wasn't for me but it doesn't mean that it's not for you maybe you'll enjoy it more than i do um anytime i say i don't like a book doesn't mean that it's a bad book it just was not good for me like it just didn't do it for me it wasn't giving me what i was looking for and i didn't enjoy the storyline but that doesn't mean that you will not enjoy it so if you want to check it out by all means check it out if you're looking for like gray's anatomy vibes totally there any kind of medical show like scrubs it's there and yeah it just gave me a little bit more insight on what like the residents and interns are feeling like in gray's anatomy I did give it three stars because you know like i said didn't really enjoy it but i did start it and finish it so i gave it three stars and then i read mile high i'm not going to talk about it anymore 
five stars perfection i love you so much i want like all the editions in this book honestly i mm, i ate this up when i tell you guys i ate this up i freaking ate this up i loved it so much okay and that's it and that concludes this vlog thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in the next one bye What? <laughs>